My name is Carl Torag. I'm a professor of animation interactive design in the School of Art and Design here at East Carolina University. Um, but my other job here on campus is curator of the Sonic Plaza. It's a multimedia artwork designed by artist Chris Janney. We're standing in the, um, the Sonic gates. As you walk through the columns, you trip the, uh, the IR sensor and it plays a tune and actually the more frequent the breaks are the higher orders of harmony you get so if you break frequently you start getting stacked harmonies this artwork is designed as a lab for students and faculty so it's designed so that students can make the music our composition students in music composition can make the sounds in music and incorporate that into the artwork. Back in the late 90s, it required a full Macintosh computer. It required the microprocessors, the multimedia capabilities, and so on. Over time, the, the technology, of course, got much better. So now we're, it's, it's really makes a lot more sense to run a lot of this on microprocessors, such as the Arduino platform. This, for example, is simply a sensor with processing the sensor data and then triggering a sound to play. So that's a, that's a great model for the Arduino and it can handle it now. This is called the ground cloud and what we have is um, cold steam jets that produce cold steam 24-7. It works around the clock. Size of the ground cloud is based on temperature and humidity. So if the temperature is low and the humidity is high, then the steam can fill this entire circle, climb up the stairs, and travel off in that direction if the wind is low. On a day like today, where the humidity is about in the middle, temperature is a little cool, the wind is moving it around, it dances back and forth. This feature is called the Media Glockenspiel. What we have here are 12 um, LCD monitors that are run off of a computer. They play animations throughout the night. This piece is based on the um, uh, solar day, so the monitors switch off at uh, sunrise. At sunset, they turn back on again. And through the square in the center, there's a sculpture that comes out based on the time of day. The piece fires at sunrise, noon, sunset, and midnight. The initial microcontroller that was used in this was actually the same one that was used to open the doors on the first space shuttle. We've since had to upgrade that microcontroller for a, a newer version that has Ethernet capability, USB, and all kinds of things. It also requires robotics. The, the sculpture that comes out through the center um, is basically a mechanical robot that uh, the microcontroller is controlling with uh, position sensors and uh, limit switches and various motors, some of which are, um, are run on with counters so that it counts how many revolutions the motor travels and so on. So there's a bunch of students that have gotten involved that have made animations for this and the, and the thing that keeps me in it is that it completely changes their way of thinking. In, in art, when they're making animations for this, all the rules, the standard rules of video of trying to have, you know, center your, your action and so on within a single monitor, you pretty much have to let them go. If we ran this interview on 12 monitors, every time my eyes went to the right, the whole ring would do that. And, and even if I'm involved in a passionate personal statement, it's ridiculous. Whereas if you took something that would be pretty dull, say a red square going across your television screen, no one would watch that at home. But you put that on here and some pretty exciting dynamics start to happen visually. This isn't about going and finding something beautiful or something engaging and filming it and writing a story. This is about creating a graphic experience. And, and that difference, that, that moment where they have to kind of create a new switch in their brain and figure that out, that's, that's why I'm still doing this after all these years. Without SparkFun, I mean, I wouldn't be able to do my job or it'd be a lot harder.